So I had the uh, opportunity today to come visit a very, very famous bridge in our American history and civil rights history. If you don't know what that bridge is back there behind me, um, it is the bridge that's portrayed in the uh, movie uh, Selma. It's what the entire movie Selma is about, but it's about the, the march for civil rights across this bridge and uh, what it meant to, um, to America and what it did for the civil rights movement. And it, initially, this is what kicked off the, uh, the Million Man March. Okay, so the protest that happened here is known as the Bloody Sunday Attack. And a voting registration campaign in 1965 turned tragic February 17 when an Alabama state trooper fatally shot Jimmy Lee Jackson in Marion. It prompted a protest march from Selma to Montgomery that triggered a milestone event in the civil rights movement. On March 7, John Lewis and Hoshe Williams led a group of 600 African Americans from Brown Chapel AME Church six blocks and across the uh, Edmund Pettus Bridge. State Public Safety Director Al Lingo ordered armed troop troopers to attack the marchers hospitalizing 50. Two weeks later, Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. and Reverend Ralph Abernathy led a court-approved march with federal protection. It covered 54 miles and reached the state capitol on March 25th. In a speech before 25,000, King said, the arch of moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. This is the often Cross over. I would imagine these people felt a lot like our soldiers do today when they're going into battle and they know that they're about to forfeit the possibility to forfeit their life to fight for what they believe in and to fight for what they believe is right so even though the, these were all civilians men and women I'm sure the feeling was a lot like our modern day soldiers feel before they go into battle I really like to look at metalworking because I mean, that's kind of what I do and um, I'm just I always admire uh, the old school bridge work metal work and rivets rivets are really coming back in style now but I've always thought they that just riveted material was just really really cool so that's pretty much it um, it takes less than probably two minutes to walk this bridge and I if I have to guess I would think I'm standing on the very spot where um, all these people were beaten and this entire street was just covered with blood I can mark it off my bucket list I walked over the bridge I got to stand on the side of history. I think that's pretty cool. If you ever get the opportunity to do it, I'd encourage you to do it. And I'd also encourage you to watch the, uh, the Selma movie. 
just to uh, put it into perspective and um, learn a little bit about our history. All right, well, thanks for walking with me today. Thanks for watching. And let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about this historical monument. And let me know what you think about the mistakes we're probably making today that we uh, might be looking back upon in the future. Drop a, drop a comment down below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Bye.